Now, this is actually a bit probably detailed and hard to read, but it's just showing that as we drift off, right now hopefully we're alert and awake, high, you know, 13 to 30 cycles per second. Then we drift off, twilight zone, sometimes we call it, alpha, and that's where we, are. we can be learning, and it's okay to read some solid stuff and allow it to drift off into your brain. Deep, even very deep meditation, light sleep, and then we go into the REM sleep, and then we come down to delta. So here we are, the cycle of about 90 minutes, 45 minutes going down, and then slowly coming back up to. Now, we don't necessarily wake up when we get to this point, and we go back down through this, to the cycle. If there's some uh, aging men here who have what's called prostate problem, and they have to get up two or three times in the middle of the night, they will probably actually only wake up when they get to this back up here. And often when you do wake up, you will remember, oh, I was dreaming. Oh, that's an interesting dream I was having. Damn it, why did I wake up? Well, pressure on the bladder, you have to go to the toilet. Okay? So you stumble off the toilet. But if you actually keep the dream alive in your brain, you can sort of do whatever you have to do, and you go back to bed, and then very quickly you can fall back into your deep uh, REM sleep and continue the dream. Chapter two. <laughs> Chapter three. All right? But you've got to consciously do that because usually when we, oh, I was dreaming, we wake up and um, boom, the dream is gone, isn't it? Very, very fast. So we've got to hold it, capture your dream, okay? If it was a good dream, right? If it's not a good dream, go away, go away. Okay. So that's just a bit about that, okay? Now, um, so that was first letter, S, sleep. So I'd like you to all draw a picture S. Hold your hand up to, to you. So the S is, is for you, not for, not for, like this is not an S for you, is it? It's an upside down S, okay? So do that because now what is happening is you're using another sense. Just the sense of using your hand can already put that S into your brain, okay? S for sleep. Now we go to E for exercise. Remember SEAR, S-E-A-R, so exercise. I think this, we don't have to spend much time. But the learning brain does need to move, needs exercise. That's why I'm walking up and down the stage, that my brain is uh, working better. We need the exercise because it increases circulation, brings more blood from uh, the lungs and the heart and into the brain. And the brain needs a lot of oxygen, a lot of glucose. Exercise, therefore, uh, helps that circulation. But it also increases the mental energy as a result of that. Because if we have a sugar low, not 